All right, it's Stevie again. I'm doing a project. This is a, a guitar that I'm doing for a friend of mine at work. And um, he wanted a blonde telly to play quietly in the background without electronics, uh, without playing electrically. So I've substituted what his original press was and moved over to the Firefly because the Firefly semi-hollow body, there is a big block of wood right down the middle of these things, but it plays fairly well acoustically, you know, so you can hear it and get some idea of it. So I think that's what he really wants to do. So that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is do a setup, we're gonna change the strings, we're gonna check the action, and we're gonna make this play very well. We're going to use all the original equipment. I'm not going to trade anything off of it. Uh, I'll do probably, a, I'll check the uh, neck and see if we need a truss rod adjustment or anything. But the action looks fairly well. It's a little high here, but uh, I think we can fix it up with the truss rod adjustment. We may need to lower the action here overall, uh, but we'll get that set up. First thing we'll do is make sure the neck's straight and then work it from there. All right, so we're back here, we're gonna get started. What I did is I brought my um, neck checker out and I checked the neck and we do have a bit of a bow in the neck. Uh, not gigantic, but I think I wanna start off with a flat. The um, strings are under tension, this is fully tuned. The action's a little high, it's almost five here at the 12th. So I wanna first do a, a truss rod adjust, uh, adjustment and flatten the neck. And then if I still need to, uh, if that doesn't bring the string height down enough, I'm going to drop the action down from here, okay? Which makes that fairly simple to do, no big deal, no heavy lifting. And we'll try to do all that before we change the strings uh, and get with it there. So I'm going to take the uh, truss rod cover off, up the other end, and then see if the truss rod works. It's a brand new guitar, so it should. Uh, it's a Firefly something, it's about a hundred and forty buck guitar um, that I got on uh, Amazon, I believe at the time. I should just check and see what the heck the price was and see what it has for a setup and stuff. Um, and see what the model number is, I don't even remember. Alright, so we got the cover off. It's kind of dull, I don't know if there's a condom protector on here that's going to reveal a nice shiny surface. So we could try and see if this comes off. I'm not going to fight with it too much. It looks like it does. So let me get a um, my little knife. I don't want to mock this up. I think we'll just leave it alone. Uh, when in doubt, skip it. <laughs> Let's take our truss rod wrench. We'll loosen this one up a little bit. Move that out of the way. We should do the other one. Loosen that up a little bit. And take that string out. Although we're damaging the strings, I don't care because, oh, they work good. So we do a little righty tighty. And that should, it feels like the truss rod is just slightly engaged. So we'll do a couple of quick turns like that. And then we'll see what it does to the neck. Or see what it did to the neck. Because we're all done tempting fate. Let's go see what happened here. We'll put this on. Well, we've got to put it on right side up, first of all. And then see what happened. Well, we came down a little bit. So if we give it a couple more little tweaks, or one more little tweak, I think, it will should flatten the neck out and that would be very nice um, and we'll stop um, like Dave has always told me with a flat neck let's take that so I'm really glad the truss rod works good and that the neck is actually moving okay and now we're flat as a pancake we've got a nice flat truss rod Let's put our strings back where they came from and we'll tune it back up to pitch and see if we need to do anything else or if we've actually gained some composure here, if you will, of the, um, the neck. If we did, I'll be wicked glad. 
So before we even do anything else, let me just flip it up and take a look at the E-string on the tension. And that did come down. That did bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to take a and tune this up to uh, to pitch, okay? And then see how it plays and see what a difference a truss rod adjustment makes in just even tuning the guitar. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. I'm upside down and backwards. Okay, so let's do it again. He's a little low. All right, let's see how this does now. All right, so let me tune this up and I'm going to play right, it. The bit. action's just a little bit high, especially on the sharp side. It's just a little high. So I think if we do a little tweak here, let me get my head out of the way, we can drop the action down with the simple twist of fate. Like that. And now we can look at the string height at the 12th fret, and that's down. And that's just right on where it ought to be. So let's see if we're getting any, any. Just a little buzz on the, the bass side. So I think I'm gonna back this off again and bring this back up there. Just a trifle more. And I think I'll bring the other side up a little too. Because if we go from perfect to buzzy, I mean screwed it up. Getting a little Uncle Buzz there. What's these guys doing? These middle strings. They're a little... Uh, they're right on four. So maybe I'll undo the truss rod a little bit too. And see if we can get back some of that stuff that we may have lost in the truss rod. Yeah, and we'll be back. Hold on, so I got the truss rod wrenched back in. And I'm going to back off a little bit of what I threw in there and see if I can adjust my way out of buzz by going back on what I've already done. Kind of like going back on a word, and the word is no buzz, buzz. So let's see if we can get a little bit of more. Yeah, okay. Let's try that, and the real, where the rubber really hits the road is playing. Just that fourth string is buzzing a bit. Uh, I'm going to raise the bridge down here a little bit again. A little tweak of that bridge. How are we doing, Vecna? You cleaned up the yard and you went in for a nap? Huh? Is that what's going on? thing we'll do is
to read.